Hey, hello everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's doing fine. Uh, today we will explain the um, color adjustments. I'll explain everything in there. I will start off by dragging a photo. Choose this one. All right, I'll open up my um, layer panel. I'll double click on this one, then click OK. Then I'll go to my adjustments. You can view this by going to Window, and then Adjustments. See, uh, you can um, uh, click it, and it will open up this um, little uh, side menu. Okay. First thing we have is the brightness and contrast. You can move this to get your brightness, or you can move it down to get it a little darkened. So you do what you think might look good. If you want to boost up the colors or the brightness of an image. This is a good way. And this is just the contrast. You can try it and see what you like. Uh, sorry, let me put it this back. We have uh, our brightness slash contrast and we have our levels. Levels, uh, the same thing, it's about uh, brightness and contrast, but you have only this, uh, these uh, options, like uh, in here, uh, you had two, uh, two bars where you can adjust them, uh, and, and on your levels, you got only this and which you can uh, apply that the setting that you want to it here you can uh, choose only maybe your only blue and this will boost up the the colors of only the blue uh, spots as you can see next we have our curves it's basically the same thing boost up the uh, colors of the image but you just gotta use what you think is good for you now we have our exposure same idea it's all about light and stuff I don't really use uh, the exposure a lot but I use it like once or twice I'll just leave that Next we have our vibrance. I really like this one. I like moving this to the uh, to the right and this one to the left so you would have a, a little bit of uh, vibrant colors. I'll move this one. So the first image that we had it was like this this was the image then we applied uh, for uh, adjustments which changed the color of uh, of the image next we have our hue slash saturation this basically just changed the uh, colors doesn't have to do with the um, uh, with the uh, uh, lighting and stuff like when we did the brightness and contrast levels curves well let me explain something these the first uh, th four stuff is basically um, made for light light and uh, contrasting your colors your brightness and contrast these the four first four then we have our vibrance then we go this uh, this line we have uh, we have to deal with the colors 
change the colors or balancing it or whatever we're doing. Alright, let me uh, continue. Here you can change your uh, the color. Actually, let me show you something. I I use the hue and saturation uh, to change colors of. Uh, uh, I use it a lot to change the colors of the of a uh, Cinema 4D uh, render. Like just uh, click it and then change the colors. As you can see like this or maybe if you want to bring it down a little bit or bring it up it doesn't matter and you can see your light and stuff I basically uh, put this as a zero and I put this as a zero too and I would just change these you can hit colorize and uh, you will get ten different colors I don't know, just play around with it and see what you like. Alright. Now let's go back to our color balance. It basically balances your uh, the colors. Like maybe if you want it uh, as kind of bluish uh, kind of effect, this would be really cool. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but this made it kind of bluish, which we wanted that. You can uh, you can change these. It has the same um, same options. You can change them and see what effect you like. Next, we have our black and white. Well, this basically for only for the black and white spots. Uh, you don't use it with the colors. It's for the um, black and white uh, stuff. Like I have the black and white signature, and let me show you. I don't really use the black and white uh, color adjustments on it. this one I made this uh, smudge signature like long time ago but uh, I added uh, the, the black and white uh, I said that I didn't add it but actually I did and basically it just uh, brings up the colors um, of the spots that you have on your signature uh, I'll remove those as you can see the signature is colored but then I added this and whatever in that signature uh, I uh, reduced it uh, or uh, brought it down to get kind of cool effect and uh, absolutely your other adjustments so that was just an example on how to use this one I don't think we want to use it right now next we have our photo filter or photo filter well this uh just like a, a kind of layer that is filled with a color and you can play around with the density maybe you want to bring it a lot or reduce it down i use this a lot uh it's, re it's really helpful and uh i don't know just play around and see what you get it doesn't really have a lot of uh, options so it's real cool you have your channel mixer which uh, 
kind of mix your colors as the as it says on the title i don't i have never used this one uh i use the uh, color balance and uh i i have just never used this one so and it has the same stuff here you can choose the colors and your preset and all that you can play around with them and see next you have your color lookup this just like uh, to get your colors from the image uh, you can get them by your uh, eye drop tool but this will kinda help you too I want you need this one so I'll raise it alright next we have our invert this basically uh, invert our uh, image uh, I don't think um, it doesn't have any options but just to invert the colors of your image I just can't think of a way you can use this but it kinda helps you um, with the if you're doing uh, kinda colors stuff like br you're adding brushes and you wanna invert a color or something like that this would kinda help you I'll erase it. Oh, I'll do you. Sorry. Next, we have our posturize or posturize. Uh, this one, you know, it just adds up that that effect that you that you see. But I use this uh, to um, when I when I make an a vector portrait of. Uh, for somebody, uh, I use this just to get my paths ready in place. Like as you can see, here we have our first path. It's not a perfect path, but you know, <laughs> just uh, just to get you started. Uh, really helpful, and many people use it. I don't know another way of uh, using the posterize uh, option. Next we have our oops I'm sorry. Next we have our uh, threshold which is this the ju it's just that uh, it's like the uh, levels but this one only works on the black and white just like that. You might like want to uh, kind of bring the colors down to get something that you like, but I don't think this is really helpful. Maybe like me, uh, make something like this, and then reduce it. I don't know. I'll erase this one because I'm not gonna need it. Next, we have our selective color. Selective color is just like the uh, color lookup, but this is more professional, if you want to call it like that. <laughs> uh, just pick your uh, your colors that you have in your image. Mostly we have green and uh, blue, kind of blue. This was just just uh, boost your colors up I, I've never used this one so I'll just erase those next and last we have well as the teachers like to say last but not least <laughs> we have our gradient map this is the most uh, color adjustment that I use every time um, I make something I use gradient maps you can click on that bar that you get and then you can choose your own um, gradient like may since our uh, images kind of add this kind of gray a uh, green um, background so I'll try to add this uh, kind of 
gradient and see uh, I'm just changing the mode by hitting the uh, arrow keys see maybe now I can reuse the opacity and kind of gave a cool uh, color so let me explain something um, this is an image without color adjustments and this is an image with the color adjustments it makes a big difference it does make sure that you always use color adjustments uh, because most of the times we will need it uh, most of my signatures yeah, use uh, uh, color adjustments uh, just like when I'm doing a black and white signature I don't um, I don't do a lot of uh, color adjustments but like uh, on colored ones uh, I do use a lot it's really cool to have it I mean like here I used um, uh, one color adjustment from each uh, group in here but like in regular ones I, I would put like maybe four photo filters and, or at five gradient maps doesn't matter nobody will tell you why you're putting those you know what I'm saying <laughs> so that was my tutorial for today it was my third tutorial for uh, my Adobe Photoshop uh, training or series. Make sure to subscribe. Um, Barom Basri one two three. It's B A R H O M B A S R I one two three. Make sure to subscribe and comment on videos and rate. All right, bye bye.